I have a side of consomme and some pico, pico de gallo, and I'm drinking water today. Yes, y'all, who wants a yummy bite? Let me know in the comments, have you ever had a birria pizza? What's up, yummy biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all see it? Oh my God, I can't believe I did it, y'all. Um, I'm drinking water today. Yes, y'all. Mmm. Y'all, I'm hot. <laughs> oh my God. Yummy, freaking delicious. Let's pray. Amen. Oh my goodness. Y'all, are y'all ready for this? I'm so excited. I can't believe I actually did it. All right, who is ready for this? Oh my goodness. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Y'all, it's hot. This is some of the consomme I'm putting on there. And then we're going to put a dollop of this pico, pico de gallo. Okay. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. 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 It's hot and delicious, okay? <laughs> hot and ready. Mmm. I use mozzarella cheese. Mmm. 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 This is a cauliflower crust. Mmm. Y'all need to try this. This is delicious. Mmm. 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 Delicious, y'all. It's so good. Mm. Oh my God. Woo! Baby. I think I'm sweating. Jeez Louise. Mmm. Nobody asked me to do this. I did this on my own. <laughs> Mm. 
Delicious. How's everybody doing? Hmm, how's everybody doing? What are y'all eating? Mmm. If you're keto, let me know what your favorite dish is to cook. And if you're not, let me know also. But y'all know I'm keto, so, you know. I can't eat the other stuff. Y'all, I thought keto was hard, but... <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. It really isn't. If you learn like how to substitute different things and, um, you know, just to get to eat what you like to eat. Honey, it ain't no problems. I'm fine with it now. I'm mad that I ordered all those meals from Factor. You know what I'm saying? Thinking I was going to need that because I wasn't going to have any, like, cooking ideas or anything that, you know, I could cook. I was worried about... Uh, you know, like going out and not being able to eat. Y'all, I'm going to eat right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I may go out, you know, every once in a while or whatever. But, honey, I'm going to eat here. <laughs> I'm going to eat delicious food. Like, I tell y'all, this is so good. And it was so easy. I used the beef birria that I had. Remember when I made birria? I froze the rest of it, honey. Like, Hansen made... And there was some beef left in there. I actually used the rest of it. Um, but, yeah. And that's it. Like, cheese and, and birria. And I made some pico. Like, that's it. <laughs> okay. Piece of cake. The crust was already made. If y'all want to see how I made it, though, I did record it. Like I always do. And, um, mmm. Mmm. So my family vlog channel. Mmm. 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 -mm. This is too good. been watching baddies <laughs> I haven't even watched like a whole episode since this new season time I just been too busy I haven't even had time to sit down and watch any TV but actually last night I did but I didn't I didn't watch baddies I watched girlfriends y'all know that's one of my favorite shows to watch um but Y'all, one of these scenes when um they were on the bus and t I think her name is Takashi. It's um um Krishan's sister, her, I think her older sister. Anyway, Krishan is wanting her sister to hit whoa Vicky. Vicky is up there saying, I apologize. Um, I didn't mean to um like whatever post it was. My God, y'all, when I tell you people put so much on somebody liking a post, like you will get beat up over liking a post. Takashi Takeshi was like, um, I'm not touching that girl. Um, what did she say? Uh she eats people up or something like that, and she's not appetized anyway. She said her sister was like, I don't bully people. Like, I'm not going to fight this girl. She doesn't even want to fight. Like, she was sitting there just apologizing. I'm so sorry. Uh, God bless you and, and all of this. And Krishan was like, uh-uh, pop that, pop her. You know, I, I'll, I'll give her a right hook or whatever. But she knew that she couldn't fight because she was pregnant. But she wanted her sister to do it for y'all. I was like, this is a whole like, are you kidding me right now? Like, I didn't know Krishant was like that. Honestly.
And then you pregnant? Like. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I got a little story for y'all, too. Mmm. This girl, she made a TikTok telling people how she had got pregnant, right? She went to the doctor. She was pregnant. One child. I believe she had her ultrasound or whatever. And, and she had one child. So her and her husband was like, uh, you're pregnant now, so we can just do what we want to do. Just like everybody else, when you get pregnant, you just do what you want to do, right? Y'all. And I never knew this, and I don't know if y'all knew it or not, but when I tell you that after you get pregnant, once you're pregnant or whatever, and, and y'all are still, you know what I'm saying, engaging, you can get pregnant with another baby. Let me tell y'all. Oh, my freaking God. Y'all, this is the most, like, I've never heard of anything like this happening. Anyway, so within that same week, okay, right after she found out she was pregnant, they started back engaging in unprotected sex, right? Because she was pregnant. So she said she started feeling this, these pains, like in, I believe, her pelvic area. She, just, she had just all over her stomach. She was feeling these pains. So she went to the doctor. Y'all, she got pregnant with two more babies. Two more babies within the same week that she found out that she was pregnant with that one. After she left the, um, the doctor... She got pregnant again, y'all. I, I, I just don't know how it's possible, but it is. With two more babies, she ended up having three babies. The one baby that she was pregnant with in the beginning, she, that baby came out um, fraternal, and the twins, they, they were um, identical, even though all three of them were born, you know, at the same time. Um... One was paternal and, and two were identical. Can y'all believe that? So y'all better be careful, okay? I'm just, I just wanted y'all to know <laughs> to freaking be careful if you just want one baby. Like, can you imagine still having to use protection after you conceive? Y'all. Is that not strange? Are y'all's mouths not wide open? Did y'all see that video? Let me let y'all see these beautiful babies that she had. I um, I saved that video. Here they go. They are so cute too. Identical. This one right here is paternal. Now this one right here that is baby C. That's the one who I was initially pregnant. The one in the middle. These two just popped up out of nowhere Look a week these. later. So, yeah, that's that. Two identicals on the ends. And the one in the middle, um, she's fraternal. Now, um, they do act alike, stuff like that. And, of course, they're all girls, too, as you can see. Y'all, is that not amazing? <laughs> Like, that is amazing. Y'all let me know if y'all have ever heard of that before because when she told that story, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Y'all, I would have. <laughs> I would have freaking passed out. Like, I done got myself pregnant again. Girl. Anyway. um, Okay, so y'all. I'm going to talk just a little bit about the Diddy uh situation when i tell y'all that people are starting to like like bigger channels are starting to talk about uh puff daddy and you know what i'm saying what he did people are pissed too just random people are making videos talking about um you know they don't support him anymore um you know in these comments y'all should see the comments about like how people knew in the 90s that allegedly 
Diddy had something to do with it, y'all. Like, I'm just like, I was asking Marshall, do you think that they gonna get him? Do you think that they're really gonna get him? Cause y'all, I just, I don't know. I don't think that they're going to, like, I feel like he's protected in some kind of way. It's been all of these years. Come on now. And then they just arrested somebody and they still haven't gotten Diddy yet, allegedly. Like, I don't know. I just don't think that it's going to happen, honestly. Um, I feel like, you know, he got that long money and it's protecting him. It is protecting him. Um, but uh, he definitely paid somebody to do it. Um, but that person didn't give the person who actually did it the money, allegedly. Okay. So, anyway, um, what else? We're supposed to be having some kind of, um, some kind of, what are the, wait a minute. What's this thing going to do on our phones? It's going to make your phones loud and go off. Not only your phone, but your TV. Uh, abuse awareness. Uh, October the 14th, everybody's phones are supposed to go off. Let me see what is going on with that because I honestly don't know. Um, October 14th, Abuse Awareness Day, all phones go off. Information. Okay, they said that anyone with a cell phone in the United States will hear an alarm go off on their device on, oh no, October the 4th. That's in a few days. According to the Federal Emergency uh, Management Agency at approximately 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time, a national test will be conduct conducted of the emergency alert system and wireless emergency alerts. The message on all consumer phones will read, this is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. No action is needed. Um, those uh, whose device is set to Spanish will receive a message that says it's going to be in Spanish. And it says, FEMA says that the purpose of the test is to ensure that the systems continue to be effective be effective means of warning the public about emergencies, particularly those on a national level. Oh, okay. So they're checking to make sure everybody will get the alert. They say even if you have your phone off, if it's on silent, it's still going to go off. Um, it said an emergency alert system message will also be sent to radios and televisions as part of the 7th a nationwide EAS test. If there's a severe weather or significant event, a backup test date is scheduled for October 11th. So, that's why. Hmm. Okay. So, be prepared for that, y'all, just in case y'all in a meeting or something. But anyway, y'all, okay, so, there is this crazy story going around about this lesbian couple um hey you guys we gotta get caught up to speed about what's going on with Rayshonda and LaShonda this Rayshonda and LaShonda okay LaShonda no Rayshonda she's like a really like popular um woman like she has like these different businesses she does whole scenes um, I never knew about her until today, um, because her video came over my FYP because her and her wife are getting a divorce, right? Now, I don't know all of the dirty details. I just know, you know, from what, what I saw, okay? So, don't think I'm going to give y'all every single detail, okay? I'm going to give y'all what I know. So, they're getting a divorce because her wife Ray Shonda she is a pastor also her wife has been like mishandling their funds y'all she her and her daughter um LaShonda and her daughter rolled up to the house one day y'all and there was an eviction notice on the door so she asked her wife about it and uh 
you know, I'm not sure what her wife freaking said, but, um, y'all, the, she, <laughs> Ray Shonda has been giving her wife half of the rent and like half of the bills. That's how they work their stuff out, okay? Both of them pay half, but she gives her wife the money, okay? Because her wife said, like, I guess when they first got married that she wanted to be, you know, I guess the masculine one in the relationship. So she wanted to pay the bills. So just give her the money and pay the bills. But what she, what, um, Ray Shonda, um, did that was good was not share a bank account with her. So she didn't have any access to her money, but, um, yeah, so she was mishandling funds. She wasn't paying the rent y'all. They were renting a house and, um, so, yeah, she wasn't paying the rent. So, it, it, and then after that, uh, LaShonda started finding out. Uh, I mean, Ray Shonda, y'all, they got names that are almost just alike. LaShonda started, um, girl, Ray Shonda started finding out all of this information. Um, her wife is like a manager over like some apartments, right? And, um, her brother lives in, in those apartments, not Ray Shonda's brother, but, um, oh Ray Shonda's brother lives in the apartments. Okay. That her wife, LaShonda manages. Okay. And, um, her brother had been, her brother told her that he had been given her rent through her cash app. Okay. But those apartments that she manages, everybody's supposed to have free rent over there, okay? Um, under the, the government, I guess it's like um, maybe like it's Section 8 or maybe like housing, some type of housing, okay? And she's just not finding all this out, y'all. Like yesterday and today. So basically, she was taking money from people that wasn't even supposed to be paying rent. Telling them to send it to her cash app. Y'all, and then come to find out she's been doing all kind of other stuff. Um, somehow, she's um been able to... um mess with um Ray Shonda's credit um I, I'm pretty sure it's from um oh it's from them getting evicted and come to find out they had been evicted like three times or something like that but I guess um uh, LaShonda got them out of it some kind of way but this last time they were like no we going with the um with the eviction, like we not no more chances for y'all. This is what the third time or something like that. Um, and Ray Shonda didn't know anything about it. She didn't know nothing about it because what she doesn't pay the bill, she gives it to her wife. Y'all, like, come to find this lady been lying about all kind of stuff, y'all. And Ray Shonda was like, their whole marriage has been a scam and she says that she thinks that this lady all this is alleged y'all she thinks that her wife like seeked her out and like was like oh yeah i'm gonna get her you know she's successful she's doing this she's doing that and then come to find out y'all before she even met her before ray shonda met la shonda her wife la shonda had done this to somebody else y'all and ruin this uh, lady's life. Like, what? So anyway, Ray Shonda says she's suing her uh, wife. She's going to divorce her. She's going to sue her. Um, they didn't even sign a prenup, y'all. And everybody's like, well, she going to probably try to get some money from you, you know, because y'all didn't sign a prenup. She's like, she can't get nothing from me or whatever. And I don't know about that. If y'all didn't sign a prenup, like, she might be entitled. I don't know. 
I don't know, but she says that um um uh, that her wife has done things that will you know put her in jail, like jail, like she was doing taking federal you know messing with federal monies or something like that she said anyway um taking money from people and then all of these people are finding out you know and they're upset y'all it is a big old mess and that's literally all i've been seeing on my fyp today i'm like dang like why how did she do all of this and this lady didn't even know and then come to find out LaShonda was um asking all of Ray Shonda's friends for money, borrowing money from them. She owes like a lot of them money and haven't paid them back. And just, oh my God, y'all, it's just a horrible situation. Mm. But what's good is that. Rayshonda is a strong woman, honey. She is strong. And she left immediately. Like, she's staying with a friend right now. She left immediately. She's not trying to stay. She's not trying to give her no second chance. She ain't trying to talk nothing. She said she thinks that everything that that lady has ever told her has been a lie from the very beginning. How scary is that? Like, you just never know who you are sleeping next to. Like, that is just... That is so freaking scary. And I really feel for her. Like, I really feel for her. Like, she just... Like, the whole thing was a freaking scam. And then, um... What else she said? Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Um. She said that the Shonda was telling Ray Shonda's daughter um not to um be asking her mama for money. Like she too old to be asking her mama for money. Her own daughter. Like, what? Y'all. Um, while she over there mishandling the money. And not even doing what she's supposed to do. But y'all didn't already got kicked out. Like, so Rashonda said when she found out about the eviction and how much they owed or whatever, she was like, how much is it? How much do I need to pay? I told her how much it was. She paid it. And then they went and checked with the owners to see, you know, if they would be able to take the money and just go ahead. And let them still live there. And these some black people that own this house, right? They was like, no. Okay? She couldn't even pay her way out of it. I was like, dang. That is messed up. And then they're supposed to put it on her credit as an eviction. So she has to, she gonna have to get that fixed. Like, y'all, can you imagine... It's like everybody is going through something. I mean, something. It's just like the devil is having a field day. Yeah. In relationships, in families, just <clears throat> horrible, y'all. Horrible. Um, so y'all stay prayed up, honey, because that is really all that you can do. That is all you can do. Oh, y'all, I seen an interview where Tupac was talking about the, um, the Diddy thing. Um, I don't know if it has music on it. Let me see. Uh, when people ask him if he's beefing with, um, bad boy, with Puffy, he says, like, me going to a playground and picking on a little kid. Right. That's like me being mad at my little brother because he getting cash now. I'm not mad at that. I'm just mad at my little brother when he don't respect me. And when 
If you don't respect me, I'm gonna spank your ass. I don't give a fuck how rich you got. On the block, I'm your big brother. I will break your big ass down. And that's my that's only that's my only point. And I feel as though you wrong. You got out of hand and you wrong, but you got some juice. Okay, so basically he was talking about he was talking about Diddy and how uh he did him wrong. He did Tupac wrong in some kind of way, but Tupac won't say what it was. He says that Diddy knows what it is, and it's between them two. Like, he ain't going to put nobody else in it. He's not going to tell the world. So, um, I don't know who he actually did tell and who knows what the problem is, but there was definitely a problem between him and Diddy. Um... Just like Diddy always have a problem with some daggone body. Somebody, like, I feel like you, his, his day is going to come one day. Like, what you do in the dark, it always comes to the light, honey. Always. Always. Mmm. So I'm only allowed to eat two pieces of this. So I won't go over my carb count for the day. So this is my last piece. Hopefully, Marisol or Leo will eat some of this. I mean, it's only two pieces. It's really good. Um... So this is the video. I never thought that all black families were. Oh y'all, this is another thing I wanted to talk to y'all about. And y'all let me know if y'all's family do this. My family does not. But for the holidays, you know, and everybody cook or whatever, you know, people may chip in to help buy the food, but this one girl made a video and said that she had, was talking to her friend. And her friend was asking her, I believe she said her friend was asking her, you know, how much should the plates be or whatever. Anyway, they charge each family member $20 a plate for the holidays, like for Thanksgiving or for like Christmas dinner or whatever. And I'm like, what? Like, I can see if you ask everybody to chip in you know, to buy the food, you know, so, you know, it can be made for everybody, especially if you have, like, a huge family and everybody, oh, shoot, and everybody is coming over. But then I started thinking about it, and I was like, well, is that kind of like the same as them just chipping in for the cost of the food, having to pay for the plate? Is it the same? It seems like that's kind of the same, but that's a lot for a plate, of food twenty dollars i could see it was like ten dollars but i don't know i've never heard of anything like that i've never heard of black people doing it i've never heard of anybody doing something like that but this was a black family that did this this was like something that they do let me know in the comments do you does y'all's family do that like wow like, I wish I would pay for a plate. Like, I would just make my own food. You know? I wouldn't pay nobody no $20 for no plate. Like, we ain't strangers. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. Mm. I couldn't do it. Yeah, I'm getting full. I mean, I am full. I don't even want to take another bite. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so, have y'all started getting all y'all like winter clothes and stuff? It's going to be cold. Next week, the weather is saying. Um. Let's see. It's going to start getting cold. 
Let me see. We're going to get some rain on Wednesday. And then it's going to start getting a little chilly on Saturday. 62 is the low and it's 77 is the high. Ooh, that's going to be a pretty day. Ooh. And the next couple of days is going to be in the 50s. The lows are going to be like in the 50s. The highs is going to be like in the 80s. So. I wonder how cold it's going to get out here though. You know? I wonder if it's going to get like freezing cold. And like what am I going to do with my plants? Like my watermelons though. Like my watermelons need sun. Yeah, y'all, I have a couple more watermelons growing. That one watermelon that, like, grew to, like, a gumball, it died, and it just it just rotted away. I just kept it in there because I heard that it's good, like, for uh, fertilizer for the soil. I hope that's right. But um, there's some more that are growing. The bees have finally been out because it's since I had got rid of my uh, cucumbers that I had, the pickling ones, uh, it was like my bees went with it, you know, but I'm starting to see the bees again and I have a lot of like blooms on my other uh, cucumber plant because I planted another one um, and I'm growing one cucumber. I see one that's growing. It's like one of the long ones. Oh, I can't freaking wait, y'all. Like I hope to God that those cucumbers are good. Like I hope. We gonna pray, um, but the, um, what I have growing right now is, uh, I have jalapenos still growing, I have bell peppers growing, um, what else? I'm talking about that are actually producing the fruit, um, cucumbers, watermelons, and that's all that's actually like a fruit right now. But yeah, y'all, I'm still excited about my uh, garden. Like, I know I don't talk about it as much as I used to, but yeah, I love my garden, y'all. It just, every time I go out there, it just freaking makes me happy. Um, but yeah, y'all, uh, I think that's it. Do I have anything else to tell y'all? Oh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok and on my family vlog channel. Um, I haven't changed the name yet. But I'm thinking that I pretty much made up my mind that um, I'm going to change the name. I haven't decided on what name yet, but I'm leaning more towards Cooking with Yummy. Um... So, yeah, uh, what else do I have to tell y'all? I think that's it. Do y'all have any questions for me? Leave them in the comments. Oh, yeah, one of my yummy buddies said that um, she wants me to do a second um, Q&A. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a post up in the community tab. Um, should I do it tonight or in the morning? Because it's going to have to be ready for the video. Maybe I'll do it tonight. But a lot of y'all don't be on my um, channel at night. So, maybe I should do it right now, y'all. While we... Oh, baby. Yeah, y'all. That's my 80s. That's my 80s music for when I get ready. Um... I'm going to go ahead and put it up right now. I don't have a picture to put up. Yeah, y'all. I be putting up the same picture because I don't be having, I don't be taking like pictures. Any, I don't be doing that no more, you know? Maybe I'll start back doing it, but yeah, I haven't. Um, maybe I should, I could literally click one right now. <laughs> I can click one right now. <laughs> I'll just do it when I get off of here, y'all. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all need to try this. It's absolutely delicious. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. If y'all enjoyed this video, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Mm, 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 mm. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh-uh-uh. Hey, 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 uh-uh. And 
I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all.